sent to left home at 6 a.m. for school, which is 8 kilometers away. He cycled at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour. After cycling for 4 kilometers, the bicycle had a puncture, which took him 15 minutes to repair. He continued cycling at the same speed. At what time did he arrive at school? At what time did he arrive at school? We have the starting time, which is 6. And we are supposed to find at what time he reached the school, meaning we are supposed to find the finishing time. Now, we need to get the total time he is taken to travel from home up to the school. Now, the total time taken is divided into three. The initial time he took before he had a puncture, then the time he took to repair the puncture, and the time he took to cover the remaining distance. Okay, so when we get that total time, we add it to the starting time, it will give us the finishing time. So let us calculate the, the time he's taken up to from the start up to where he got the puncture. Okay, so from our formula, speed is equal to distance over time. We can say that time is equal to distance over speed. Okay, so how much distance did he cover up to the time he had a puncture? So he had covered uh, uh, his cycle speed after cycling for four kilometers. So he had covered four kilometers. So our distance here is four kilometers. And then what was the speed? The speed, he was cycling at a speed of six kilometers per hour. So our speed is six. Okay, now this is in hours because the distance is in kilometers and the speed is kilometers per hour. Now the time we're going to get is in hours, but now this is a fraction. Let us change it to minutes. Okay, how do we change hours to minutes? Multiply by 60. So let us multiply by 60 to get minutes by 6, 1, by 6, 10. So we have 40 minutes. So he took, four, uh, he took 40 minutes from the starting time up to the time he had the puncture. Now, the time he took to repair the puncture is 15 minutes. Okay? So, repair. He took 15 minutes. Now, what about the finishing time? The bicycle at the puncture took him 15 minutes to repair. He continued cycling at the speed, at the same speed. What, was, what, what speed was he cycling before at? Six kilometers per hour. So he will continue cycling at the same speed, which is six kilometers per hour. The question is, at what time did he arrive at school? So we need to get the time. Okay. Now, speed is equal to distance over time, and time is equal to distance over speed. Now, how much distance remains? after he had covered four kilometers. So what is the total distance from home up to the school? The question has told us it is eight kilometers. And before the puncture, he had covered four kilometers. So how much distance still remains? Another four kilometers. So distance is four. And the speed, same speed he was cycling at the beginning, six kilometers per hour. Six. So now this is our answer. Four over six hours. Okay? But now we don't want it to be a fraction like this. We can change it to become minutes by six once by six ten. And we have another 40 minutes. Just like the initial time he had taken before the puncture, he had taken the same time to cover the remaining distance. Simply because it was the same distance and 
same speed. So definitely we get same answer. Now 40 minutes. Now the total time he has taken from home up to school is 40 minutes before the puncture, 15 minutes to repair the puncture because when he had the puncture time did not stop. Time was going on. Okay, so we have 15 minutes duration. He took to repair the, the puncture. Now 40 minutes initial, 15 minutes, and then 40 minutes he had taken to cover the remaining distance. Now total time is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 4 is 95 minutes. Now, 95 minutes is the total time. Now, we can change this into hours because one hour is 60 minutes, right? So, how many hours do we have here? So, let's just subtract 60. And we have 5. Three. So, we have one hour, 60 minutes, and that 5 minutes. So, this one is the same as one hour, 35 minutes minutes. Now, back to the question. What time did he arrive at school? So, what is the starting time? Starting time starting time is 6 0, 0 a.m. Okay? How much time did he take to travel? 1 hour and 35 minutes. Okay? And we have 7 here and AM. This is the time he reached the school. Okay? The time he had started 6 at the total time he had taken from home up to the school. And you get the finishing time, which is 7 35 AM. Okay? And our answer is D.